This learning resource is designed to help you to develop your skills in reflective practice. So that is reflective thinking and reflective writing. Reflection is a cycle. This cycle is based on experiencing an event or a situation, then making sense of that event or situation, and then making some plans of action based on what you've learnt from that event. Our resource is split into three sections, which are based on the three key questions in our cycle of reflection. Those questions are what, which is a description of the event, so what, which is making sense of what happened in the event, and now what, which is our action plans based on what we've learnt and what we're going to do in the future. So now let's look in more detail at the first stage of the reflective cycle. The question what. So here we want to give a good description um, to set the scene for our reader, what happened, where we were, who we were with, what we were doing. This is all really important so that we can start making sense of the situation or a series of events, but also making sense of our role within that event. So the kinds of questions that you want to ask and answer in a written reflection are when and where the event took place, who was there, but also who might have been absent, because that may be relevant. What you did and what others did, but also what you heard, what you said, what you saw, and also what you didn't do, because there may be things that you left out or forgot to do. It's also important to think about how you felt before or at the beginning of this event or situation. The key part of this first section, the what section, the description of the event, is to make it clear why you are reflecting on this event. When we're writing a reflection, you can consider this descriptive context setting section as the introduction to a piece of writing. Once you've written a good description for your reflection, this will help to generate the learning that is going to take place in the next section, which is the so what part of the reflective cycle. Within this section, the aim is to make sense of what happened and what you did and what others did. So we're going to be doing a lot of analysis and evaluation through a series of questions. In order to make sense of the learning that comes out of reflecting on an event, then what we're going to try to do is ask three key questions really make sure that you can answer these so the first one is what did i learn the second one how did i learn it and the third one why does this matter in our analysis and evaluation of the event or situation there are numerous questions that you could ask and and these are some examples that you could try to focus on it's important to um, elaborate on what you were trying to do or achieve within the event or situation that you played a role in and what you were focusing on. It's also important to think about what your expectations were. So did you go into this situation or event with a certain set of expectations about what you thought would happen or how you thought it would go? And then you need to answer whether things actually went as you expected them to or not. So did anything surprise you or come as a shock to you? Also important again to think about your feelings. So how did this experience or your involvement in this event make you feel? Think about how you might have interpreted others' behaviour or their feelings or things that they said because those have an impact on you and how you behave and how you feel. Also think about how you feel now, now that the event has passed because often our feelings change. In order to evaluate the situation, you need to think about what went well and what perhaps didn't go so well. So ask yourself, what did I do well? But not only what I did well, but how I know that I did things well. How did I succeed? Also then, we need to think about what didn't go so well. So what didn't go as well as you'd hoped it would go and why do you think that was? So it's important to also think about any feedback that you may have had that could have been during the event, that could have been verbal feedback, or it could be feedback that you've had since. And that feedback can come from any source. It could come from peers, from mentors, from tutors, from friends. Important also to explore 
personal characteristics that you have, your personality, your your values perhaps, that help you or helped you in, in the event to succeed or perhaps caused you some difficulty because this will be important in order, in order to make actions to improve for next time. Another really important question to think about is how a situation may have challenged your values and beliefs. Has your thinking in any way been transformed by this situation that you were involved in? So once you've analysed and evaluated the situation you were involved in, this should be where the learning is deepened because it's where it should reveal to you things that you've learned about yourself or things that you've learned about a situation that you may be involved in in the future. This section of a written reflection is likely to be the longest. It sort of serves as the main body of a text. So the final section of the reflective cycle is where we ask the question, now what? And this is where we need to start setting down some some goals, some action plans based on what we've learned about ourselves and what we've learned about the situation we were involved in. It's very important here to set yourself some SMART objectives. The M stands for measurable, something which you are going to be able to see when you've achieved that goal. The A in SMART stands for achievable, something which is within your your potential to be able to learn and achieve, something which is realistic. It's something that's maybe part of one of your learning objectives or the competencies that are expected of you at your level of learning. And the T in SMART objectives stands for time bound. So something which we have a, a, a date for, something which we are aiming for a specific time. It might be this semester, it might be next semester, or it might be this week or next week. The important part of the now what section is, is to think about with my new knowledge, with my new learning, what will I do differently in the future? What will I change? Because reflection leads to learning, leads to change and development. The key here is to integrate what you've learnt with existing knowledge that you had already and this is going to help you to develop further, and to develop your skills and to develop yourself personally and professionally. It's also really important to think about um, how you're going to achieve these goals. How will you know when you've achieved those goals? Where will you get feedback from and how will you act on that feedback?